here we are for the second action. This one, space. Did you know that your presentation space sends messages? In your meetings and classrooms or workshops, whether they're live or via video conferencing, attend to your presentation space. Why? Because everything is speaking. I know, that sounds like crazy talk. And it's true. Everything is a representation of something larger than itself. That book on the shelf is not just any book. It's the book from which you learned the principles that have shaped the, the leader you've become today. The picture on the wall isn't just any random picture. It carries with it a host of wonderful associations. And that coffee cup on your desk isn't just any coffee cup. Well, I think you get the point. Not only does a book, a picture, that coffee cup have meaning for you, it has meaning for everyone who sees them. Everything triggers associations, uh, their opinions and perceptions and biases, memories in, in others' minds, because everything is speaking. Our brains are absolutely amazing. We can actually process multiple sensory inputs simultaneously. Meaning, while we're consciously attending to one thing, like facilitating a meeting, other parts of our brain are non-consciously attending to like, the temperature in the room and, and the non-verbal signals that we're getting from participants. The physical space surrounding participants is sending messages all the time on the non-conscious level. The question is, what's your space saying? What message does cluttered and disheveled tables and side cabinets send? What message does clean tables, organized materials, and well-placed visuals send? And what about the the background behind you during a virtual meeting or a training. What is it communicating? You know, how, how do we know, right? How do we know that this space action is actually working? Well, there are indicators and we call them success criteria. And here's how you're gonna know. You're gonna know you're successful with the space action when your meeting and presentation space is clean and orderly. You can explain the purpose for each item in your background during a virtual meeting or, or maybe the walls in a, in a meeting room. You're also going to know that because people are focused on you, one another, and the content. And you are going to feel more prepared and intentional. So what will you do with this space action? All right, let's make it happen. As you prepare your next live or virtual meeting or lesson or presentation, look around. What messages are you getting from the furniture arrangement, the materials on the tables, the cleanliness of the surface areas, and the front of the room decor? Make the necessary changes so your space does not distract but rather enhances your participants' experience. Remember, go ahead and post in the comments section in this module what you did and how well it worked. As you continue to amplify your communication impact, create your presentation and meeting space so that it sends positive messages you want people to get you'll notice a subtle yet very powerful improvement in your participants' ability to focus and remember. See you in our next session where you'll learn how to capture and hold your participants' attention simply by your cadence. Okay, catch you there.